Hey peeps, long time, no magazine harvest, right? So I have a ton, this is just not even, this is a fraction. This is not even all of them because I got so many from the kiddos um, mom that she saved for me. Um, so I did pull out a couple from that stash as well as the ones that I normally get. So of course I'm not going to go through all of them. <laughs> just go through a couple of them with you guys today. My sidekick is sitting next to me, so hopefully she'll behave. So I think I'm the first two I wanna go through is these two, cause these two I've never harvested before. And then we'll see where we are with these. All right. So I hope you guys had a wonderful, make sure I stay in frame. I apologize for the glare. There's really nothing I can do about it with my ring light. So I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Um, I, you know, had my normal quiet Christmas. Um, and um, I do traditional, um, I've done it for years since my son's been grown um, and moved out the house. So usually I do really big for Thanksgiving and then Christmas is all about me. So I usually have pizza and wine which is what I did. And I just chilled out in my Christmas PJs and just relaxed and watched some movies. And that's pretty much was my day. And um, I was happy with it. I'm trying to make sure I stay in frame here. So what I'm pulling for, in case you're new to my channel, um, I'm pulling for glue books, my magazine art, and also for my journals, because I'm gonna probably start adding some um, magazine images in my journals, I'm thinking. So that's what I'm pulling for. So I look for words and just pictures that kind of speak to me, I guess. Um, I hate cheesecake. And that's pretty much it. So I know that's probably shocking, right? I know a lot of people don't understand why I don't like cheesecake. But I don't. I cannot stand it. <laughs> I'm extremely picky. You'd be surprised about the things that I don't like. Um... But yeah, I don't, I don't like it at all. It's what's inside that counts. I like that phrase. So I'm going to just tear out the whole page. And then when I'm sitting down watching TV, I will cut out that phrase right there. Um, let's see what's on this side. I want the word home. Might use it, no, what is that? Is that a shrimp? Or is that a, well, maybe it's a peel. I don't know. It's too big for my journal, but I kind of like the glass, though. So basically, you have money and want to make your food learn, but you don't have any skill. Okay. Um, yeah, so nothing much going on. Um, the brat, sorry about my neighbor next door. She's very loud. Um, the brat tore up her toy. Which, you know, it's not totally her fault. <laughs> she is an aggressive chewer, which is why I usually buy the Kong, um, the black Kong. Um, and those are for the aggressive chewers. And she has two or three uh, Kong toys that she's had for months. So this one was a black Kong, as you guys saw, if you saw her little video. Um, but it's not made of the same quality rubber as the other ones because she was able to literally bite chunks out of it and i had to take it away from her because she swallowed it i mean they weren't huge chunks but still i don't want her eating that um i cut this out before i, I don't think i ever used it um but i like the, i know i have this word but you know what i'm gonna take it out again because um Maybe I did use it. I don't know. Anyway, there's again, just in case. Um, yeah, so I had to take it away from her. So she had no toy for Christmas. I did um, file a claim because they have a, a uh, guarantee on their... Um, <laughs> baking me smile. That's funny. I'm going to get that because I, um, I eat low carb. I eat... I have a ton of bacon, but... More bacon than I ever ate before I was, um, before I was keto, is what I want to say. 
um, even if we can't sit, can't fill the seats, we're filling the table. Oh, this looks, this looks so yummy. What is that? I don't know, but it looks so delicious. Like some kind of bread, it looks like. Mm. Can't eat bread no more, but unless it's keto bread. But, um, there's no such thing as bad food in Puerto Rican household. <laughs> Very true. Very true. If food could give you a hug, these rolls would definitely, definitely would. Oh, all this bread. My goodness. She's so funny. She's not, you know, this chair is not that big, but she managed to curl herself up so she can lay down. I got a pillow on top of it. I need to get her a big, like a nice, comfy... Okay, I, well, I need a chair anyway because I don't have a lot of seating. Not that I have people over, but I don't I have a very small love seat because I have a tiny elevator. Fun story, when I first moved here, um, when I moved from my other apartment, I lived on the first floor. And um, so I didn't have to worry about if my couch was big enough. I mean, if my couch was too big to fit in the elevator. Well, when I moved here... I lived on the sixth floor, so I had this long sofa bed um, and love seat that I had in my old apartment. And I, sorry, I just want to see if you really want traditional food. I have some. I want to have some fun. Okay, um, these cookies look so good. Oh no, never mind. They got pumpkin in it. Hey, pumpkin. Um. What was I saying? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. So I had <laughs> this long sofa and nobody was trying to carry it. Oh, and when I moved here, the elevator was broken. So, um, yeah, that was not fun. Um, I had to have help carrying the stuff up the steps. I had to literally leave my sofa. Um, I want this, this, um, organic by nature. Um, I had to leave my sofa on the curb because I couldn't bring it in the elevator and nobody was trying to hike it up six flights of stairs. So, um, when I got here, I had no sofa. So, luckily, there was a thrift store and I'm so mad that they closed because I got so much good stuff from there. Um, okay, I think I might go through this again because I feel like I might have missed some words or something, but I'm going to stop for now and we'll just move on. So, there was this thrift store, like, right down the block. And, um, I was able to get a little love seat. A decent love seat. I got this, like, TV unit. And something else. I want to say a recline. No, I got a coffee table. I don't know if I got... I know I got three pieces that day. <laughs> Went for a sofa and I wound up with three pieces. Anyway, but, um, so yeah, I had that little... Love seat. So anyway, the reason why this love seat I have now I bought from Bob's, but I really wanted um I wanted a sectional, but I couldn't find one in my price range um at the time. And at the time my son had moved back home and I didn't have enough space to have I wanted to get a love seat and a like a nice comfy chair, but because I had him back home I gave him his room back and I moved my craft room back out in the living room where I originally had it and so then when he moved out again um I was like okay I have all the space and all I have is this little love seat so I just never bought another you know seating for the space but I really do need another just so I can have well the brand is getting too big to curl up on the couch with me and that's where she likes to be so I thought um one day I'd like to get a sectional because I figure a sectional that can take I could take apart it could fit in the elevator honestly I really don't want to get anything new for this apartment because I'm really trying to leave New York so it probably won't happen <laughs> but if I can find like a thrift you know a thrift there's a great place um, here in my neighborhood right down the block they they have like thrift stuff that's where I got my free white chair from that I keep well now I have it in out here but 
I used to have it. I am not paying attention. <laughs> I'm just talking and flipping and not paying attention. Um, I need to pay attention. Uh, what else was I saying? What was I saying? Uh, oh, I use this. I use this. I like um, Lacanto's sweetener better, but Costco stopped selling it. And so this, this one they sell in the little packaging, the little packets. Which is kind of annoying, but but the last time I went there, they didn't even have it, so I don't know. I would cut that out, but I already cut it out. Another magazine, so I won't bother to cut it out again. Bring home the bacon. I like this. I like that because that's actually how I do my bacon. So I'm gonna cut that out for my journal and. Um, because I'm also, not only I'm going to do like my regular creative journal, I am going to do a wellness journal because I need to keep track of, um, not that my blood pressure is high anymore, but I still want to keep track of it. I want to re remember to, I stopped tracking it because I was, you know, my blood pressure had went down, so I don't check it every day like I used to. Um, so... I um I love this even though Christmas is over. That's cute. Um The Art of Keeping in Touch. I like that. I'm gonna keep that. What was I saying? I don't know what I was saying, you guys. I keep losing my train of thought. That is so so sad. My age is truly catching up with me. To all a good treat. Oh, that's cute. No, you're not getting that. <laughs> I said the T word and she looked at me. Oh, goodness. You already had something. So, yeah, I don't know what I was saying, you guys. So, I'll just flip and we'll see what we come up with. So far, not much. This is so cute. If only it was a dog and not a cat. Refreshed. Um, I like this. I feel like I could do something with that. I'll do my regular gun. I would say this would be good for my wellness, but I don't run. <laughs> but the sleep one is good. Um, yeah, I don't run anywhere. I don't do any exercise at all. Um, besides walking the bread. That's, that's all the exercise I do. And now that it's cold, um, she's cute. Kind of big. Oh, I like this, um, little cell phone. I don't know. Let's see what we can do with that. I don't know why I didn't take the cover off. Um, what was I saying? Um, I just found my new best friend. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, yeah, so now that it's cold, we don't, we don't walk that far because it's cold. And I'm usually not dressed for a long walk. And this one doesn't like the cold. So we do a little short walk around the building. And we come back. So not getting as much exercise. This is the sweet and the chocolate is killing me here. Um, I did a, um, I ended up doing, having three cheat days you guys <laughs> because I had too much stuff left over and I was like I am not tossing this in the garbage that is not gonna happen so I extended my two cheat days to three and then oh I love this picture even though I haven't taken a bath in so long I really want to take one now that I look at this maybe try to fix that in my journal. I don't know. I 
little something for you. I like that. Um, I feel like I could use that. I like the font. This is nice. That's nice. Like for self-care type of thing. I don't know which one I'm going to use, but I like that. I like the Oh, I can use both of them. This one might be cut a little bit, but deep though. I had that one time. It was so good. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Calm the chaos. Oh, I love that. Calm the chaos. <laughs> Just calm the chaos. That's what I need. Calm the chaos. Um, stuffed pork chops and chard. Um, don't know what I was saying. Yeah, so I've been doing some reorganizing besides my craft room. Well, I didn't do a ton of reorganizing because I'm waiting for, um, you know those plastic shelves that people use like for dishes from Michaels, not Michaels, from Dollar Tree. Well, I ordered some, oh, look at um, Willow Smith. Um, I ordered some online because I never could find them in my store. I have one. And I wanted to use them to organize the baskets of my papers. I'll show you guys when I'm done. But, um, Trudy, Lady Gaga, if you want her, let me know. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm doing some organizing. I just, this morning, I organized, I have these two cabinets that has, like, food storage. Guys, when I tell you that those two cabinets was a hot mess, like when I, I hated to open it because stuff would fall out. Because <laughs> I had food storage from when I first moved here. Like seriously, I, half of it I don't even I didn't even use anymore, and the rest of it was like yellowed and really needed to be trashed. So that's what I did. Um, I trashed a ton of stuff that I didn't use anymore, stuff that yellowed, stuff that I didn't have lids anymore. I, try, I have a whole gigantic bag. I got rid of coffee mugs that I no longer use, like, you know, some that I got for free that's small. So I, you know, I don't use small coffee mugs. My mugs are big that I drink my coffee out of. So I, um, made different um, yes, I got rid of a ton of stuff, ton of stuff, and it felt really good. I love the Empire State Building picture, since I am a New Yorker. Um, yeah, so, I did that, I reorganized my pantry, my pantry, which is really a shelving unit, a metal shelving unit that I got from Home Depot. Um, I have actually have a video of it. It's, I think it's my first video on this channel um, of it when I put it together, and it's pretty much the same except for I got some new um, new food storage for my variety of nuts that I use to make my low carb granola. Um, I needed some sealed, um, you know. The really good sealed containers for those so they wouldn't get stale so I got um, I got some from Amazon a pack of four from Amazon this is giving me nothing 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 oh I wish the elephant wasn't on two pages was we'll send that to um, to my twin Nicole if you guys didn't know Nicole and I are twins we decided that we are twins <laughs> pretty much because we have we have a lot of things in common and we like a lot of the same things rather I have a lot of things in common but we we like a lot of the same things so I started calling her my twin especially our love of true crime it's just crazy I love true crime I love true crime yeah oh so sad Oh, sad, sad, sad. Talking about true crime. Sadness right there. 
Um, yeah, don't look like I'm finding nothing in here. Alright, I don't know how far I am. I'm using a different phone to film because my other phone, I don't know what's wrong with it. It's saying that the storage is full, but there's nothing on the phone, which is why I always use that one to record. But, I don't know. It's another Vanity Fair. I'm going to skip Vanity Fair. Let's see. How about... That's right. In style. Oh, that's my girl. Yola Davis. I love her. I just finished watching um, Ma Rainey. Um, Black Bottom. Was that about you yesterday? I don't know if I watched it yesterday or the day before. But it was really, really good. I'm, she is just an amazing... Like, there's nothing she can't do. Like, that's what I feel. I feel like there's no part that she um, doesn't... Everybody loves him. I mean, he's attractive, but... He's not my type of dude. Um, yeah, she's amazing. She's amazing. There she goes again. Um, yeah, she's amazing. Helen Marin, she is too, but love my I love Viola Davis. Love her. Ever since I think the first time I saw her was in Antoine Fisher when she played, played Antoine Fisher's mother. Oh my god, that movie broke my heart in a million and one pieces. If you've never seen that movie with Denzel and um Viola Davis, oh my god. <sighs> That's all I can say. Grab a, make sure you grab some tissues. Get a whole box. Because you're going to need it. You are going to need it. That movie broke my heart in a million pieces. It's one of those movies that I can't watch more than once. Because it's just, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. But it's so good. But it's so heavy. You know? Sometimes I, you know, I have these movies. You have these movies that you just can't watch more than once. Because it breaks your heart. And I'm a crier. And when I see, I'm not a crier like in my own life, but like I don't cry so much about things in my life. But if you was in front of me and you start crying, I'm going to cry with you. That's, <laughs> that's just how I am. Oh, goodness. I'm that kind of crier. I am just not having much luck in these magazines lately. I'm really not. I don't know if it's because I'm talking as I'm flipping and so or what but um yeah I don't know I love that she looks fantastic that could be nice in my black and white journal I haven't even touched that journal in since the last video I did of it I just want her on every page of everything I do. Oh, look at that. I like her hair like that. Her hair looks really pretty. Sorry, I started reading about her hair. <laughs> oh, goodness. Where's she barking at? Brooklyn. I don't know where she's barking at. Something outside. She's hilarious. <laughs> Farewell 2020. Yes, that's got to go in there. Got to go in my gun. I like that. I might try to incorporate that in my journal too. A luxurious man. Yeah, maybe I don't know. He's too pretty. And a man in pink. I can't. I can't do a man in pink. Not something not that there's anything wrong with a man in pink, but I personally hate the color pink. So I definitely don't want to see my man in pink. Yeah, no. And man my man can't have better hair than me. Like, no. <laughs> he has better hair. You can't have better hair with than me. No. I will not have it. Just can't. Your hair cannot be better. What, Brooklyn? What? You got down. Now you want to help getting back up here? Mama's almost done. Because Mama's not finding anything in there. 
yeah, I think this is going to be it. Because I found nothing. Oh, look, two pages. All right, you guys, so that's it. Not too, too bad, but not too, too good either. So that is it for my magazine harvest for today. Um, I really think my wallpapers are coming today, so I may do an unboxing because I don't even remember what's in there, you guys, to tell you the truth. So I'll probably do that sometime today if it does come today or whenever it shows up. I will share it with you guys, and then maybe you can help me pick, well, I'll look through it and then I can figure out what I'm going to use for my journal. And um, because I'm dying to get it together. All right, you guys. So thanks so much for watching. And until next time, have a great one. Bye.